Hey guys, what's up? Lord Mitra again here, your Lord of Video Games, and welcome to another episode of Trails of Cold Steel 4. Last time we faced two super bosses, and I call them super bosses because they both were so annoying and they both took me long. This one took me over 20 minutes. Oh my god, that was. I stayed quiet during the whole fight because I came to dying so many times so I just like was so quiet trying to focus up but I ended up cutting a lot anyway we are right where we left off so let's head over here that's our location so just exploring and everything how are you guys days today how is your day today um today I did go to the gym had some good exercise and starting the day off well. Alright, we got some food and fighting this. And here we have Short Breaker 2. Nice. Over here we have another treasure chest. You material. And another fishing spot. So let's see what we catch. Mm, I can see a lot of fish here. I'm gonna catch you! <laughs> I did it! There you go, forest skill. New one. Nice. This is real pretty. This hospital is way more impressive than I had imagined it. <laughs> yeah, and it's not just the building. The doctors here are the best of the best. Patients with complicated illnesses and injuries come from all over for treatment. They're receiving funding from Remiferia, aren't they? The doctors here took such great care of Sharon last time. It would be nice if I could thank them in person. Well, let's do that then. There doesn't seem to be that many people as far as I can see. The security is a joke in this place. I thought that military and political types were supposed to be coming in and out of here. I imagine... They keep those particular patients behind closed doors. And who is she calling? I can't get through Val to Valerie. Perhaps she's in a place with no signal. Hmm, in that case, we have no choice but to search the premises. We should be careful to not to attract attention as we walk around. Okay, let's go. So yeah, let's not try to catch any attention. Let's explore and see what we find. Oh, is this some sort of cafeteria? It's an inn, it says. Yeah, it's both for visitors and hospital staff. Look up, read up, it says inn. We even in. have rooms for people to stay overnight. Ooh. Oh, recipe here. All right. Now, let's actually rest because, um, can we shop by medical? Oh, let's buy this. Not equip it. That's another one I needed, apparently. I'm getting all the types of gloves. What a picturesque view. Wow. Ain't bad at all. This spot's pretty popular for patients who want some fresh air. I mean, I don't blame them. It's really pretty. Alright, let's go into the ward. I'm going downstairs again. Ah, this must be the reception desk. Yeah, usually this room is full of people here to visit. 
I guess not. Horses. Hey! Oh, it's you guys. I was riding laps of, uh, with our ace wonder earlier on. He got so weak from hunger that he ended up falling right off his horse. I knew he was hungry. Heck, he's always hungry. But I never once thought he'd just up and pass out on horseback. If only I just listened to him, then maybe none of this would have happened. Oh, right. Wonder's being checked up on as we speak, so I can't concentrate on anything else right now. Could I ask you to help us look after the horses again in the meantime? It'd be great help. We would be happy to. Alright, thank you. We have the horses now. Alright, let's find where we need to go now. I guess this is where we're heading on to. If you investigate this building, the main story will proceed. Yeah, oh, yeah I explored everything. Let's go. Oh, there's another building here. Do you know what it might be, Yuna? I'm pretty sure it's the medical college's research building. I mean, I've never been inside before, but still. Hmm, so is that where Valerie is? It seems likely. Well, let's go and see. Someone behind us? Oh. <gasps> Wait. Oh, God, no. Ah, Rufus and... Oh. L look at that. Rufus Alberea. And that was the principal. Guess Crossbill's Governor General decided to roll up for a visit. Or hell, why be so polite? We're looking right at the ringleader of those Iron Bloods. Indeed, he's their primary member and certainly has a lot of weight to throw around. That must be an Imperial Defense Force member beside him, or more accurate, a member of his own personal security detail. And the man with them is... The old principal. That old guy is seriously jacked. He barely fits in that military uniform. That's the commander of the Imperial Army, General Van Dyke. Wait, that's not the principal? Though, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Though, until two years ago, he was the principal of Thor's Military Academy. I was gonna say. What? Really? I heard that he had returned to the Imperial Army, but... It was of no small relief to me to hear the news of His Majesty's waking. It is still too soon for us to breathe easy, of course, but I am glad all the same. Indeed. His Majesty's doctors are working as hard as they can, but even with the most advanced medical care, the situation is dire. Mm, I could imagine. I wish there was more we could do. But I suppose the rest is in Adios's hands. Though, perhaps, we should at least visit him. That may put my mind at ease. <laughs> Very well. Then allow me to escort you to the VIP ward. That's what we're headed. Oh, no. That's where we're headed, right? Uh, wait, they're coming our way. This isn't good. We need to hide. There you are. This way, all of you. Huh? Who? What? Oh! Huh? Huh? Grace? Wait, isn't that... Valerie? Oh! That's quite the look, Valerie. We can talk later. Just come with me. If you don't <laughs> want to be found, that is. Oh my god, Valerie. Why? What are you doing? After that, Valerie led Yuna and the others to another location. And they hid themselves away in a rarely visited corner of the hospital. Why were we going there? Oh, the nurse's station. Of course, they're, they're not going to be visited. Whew. Thanks for the bell out, Valerie. We knew we'd be able to find you somewhere around here, but... Didn't expect you to get all nurse naughty on us in the process. Alright, alright, keep it in your pants. The staff here let me hide out with them, and the second I mentioned Lind. 
I figured I may as well fill in for her while she's still missing, that's all. I see, that makes sense. Lind? Uh... Lind, with any luck she won't stay missing for long. Well, not to break the mood, but thanks for helping me out of that jam too. The Governor General's got all his cronies keeping eyes on me. Wouldn't do me any favors being found out now. Funny surprise running into you here though, Grace. I presume you came here via train or bus. Are you here to chase after one of your aforementioned scoops? Well, I guess you could put it that way. But after seeing who else showed up around here, I'd say I've got a pretty good lead. You mean Governor General Rufus and General Van Dyke? I guess it doesn't get any more VIP than those two, huh? But why would they come to a hospital in Crossville instead of one in the Empire itself? The both of them must have only arrived by airship from Garelia Fortress. And they made a beeline straight from Sa for St. Ursula. Something must be afoot. They are here to visit a patient. One who finally woke up a few days ago. Someone very important to them. But not just to them, the entire empire of Arbonia. And that's no exaggeration. Huh? Someone important to the empire? She couldn't possibly mean... <laughs> oh, Ash. Oh, you found them. Good work, Valerie. Who? Oh, what? Hello, nurse. Not a problem, chief nurse. C Cecile? Long time no see. Frantic as always, aren't you? This may be from Trails of Azure, which I haven't played. Cecile, oh, Cecile you know News. Me. Still, it's so wonderful to see the two of you again. And to the rest of Class 7. It's a pleasure to meet you all. I'm Cecile Noyes, the chief nurse on staff here. Pleased to meet you. I've heard all about you from Valerie and Lloyd. I hope it's good things. <laughs> you know the special support section then? Right? She's kind of like Lloyd's big sister in a way. The two of us are neighbors. We thought you'd gone to that convalescent home Ilya was transferred to. I'd been considering it, but Ilya ended up making the decision for me. Don't worry, I can finish up rehab just fine on my own. There's another patient who needs you much more than I do right now. She was really quite insistent. <laughs> they don't call her the fervent dancer for nothing. That's Ilya for you, graceful as a swan, stubborn as a mule. So about this other patient, I'm guessing the rumors were true? Yes, they are. As a matter of fact, he asked me to show you to him once you arrived. Which I'll perfectly be happy to do after the Supreme Commander and Governor General are gone. How does that sound? Well... Ash. Sounds great to me. Lead the way, babe. Okay, Ash. So is your furry nature. And they're gone. Just leave already, Rufus. I hate you. Van Dyke, I like. Rufus, I hate. Journal Van Dyke knows something's up. May we come in? Enter. Yeah. There he is. <clears throat> So it's true. King Eugene. Emperor Eugene. My bad. My sincerest welcome to you, Class 7 of Thor's Military Academy. You'll have to forgive my being underdressed, given this is a reunion of sorts. 
<laughs> That's true. Your Majesty. So you were here in Crossbell all along? The last we heard, you were still comatose. I'm glad to see you're awake. What a relief. I never been so happy to be proven wrong. Yes. I'm grateful that Adios granted me the opportunity to meet with you again. I wouldn't normally allow visitors for a patient in his condition, but as this is a special case, you've got 10 minutes. Nurse News, if anything happens, come fetch me at once. Yes, Dr. Sayland. I love how these two are dressed as magical girls. What's her deal? Well, we can safely assume she's a doctor. The name Ceylon sounds familiar, but let's worry about that later. It's wonderful to see how well you've recovered, Emperor Eugen. Princess Alfin will be delighted to hear the good news. <laughs> yes, although as you can see, it hasn't been an easy journey. I've been briefed on the majority of what occurred while I was unconscious. About the start of the Great Twilight. About the death of my son. <sighs> And the coming war with Calvert. No, the coming of our very end. Yeah. Even knowing of its approach, I regret that I must leave this mess to you young men and women to resolve. As the Emperor of Erebonia, I formally apologize. It's okay. But please, there's no need to... Wait, what do you mean by that? You're saying you were aware of this, all of this, was going to happen beforehand. Correct. So it is written in the Black Records, passed down from one generation of the Imperial family to the next. Father Thomas told us about them before. And I believe Instructor Reen was collecting them as well. Yes. The records provide a rough chronicle of everything leading up to the Great Twilight. The Empire's dark history, stories of the Divine Knights, and the Dark Dragon. It also prophesied that a sacrifice would be made, and the path to the Grawl would open. <sighs> Ash. I'm sorry. If only I had been stronger, none of this would have happened. Hey, don't beat yourself over it, Ash. You are not to blame, Ash. The sin is not yours to bear. This has all been brought about by the Empire's curse. By that measure, both you and I are the same. What matters now is what follows. Hmm? Until now, everything has gone according to the Chancellor and the Gnome's plan. But the Black Records stop where the Great Twilight begins. Mm. What happens next is a tale yet unwritten. There still remain paths that not even they could have foreseen, including the path you've chosen, Lady Mildine. Oh, he knows? Oh? So you were already aware? Hmm. He's smart. What's this? What is that? A document containing the whole truth as I am aware of it. The same truth I shared with your instructor. I am giving it to you in the hopes that you may find the third path that Oliver sought. When you have reunited with your instructor, find your own. Your Majesty? Hey. Now oh, he's asleep. It seems he's fallen asleep. He must have really been pushing himself. I'll call for Dr. Saland. That's a seal. A third path, huh? Time to forge our new destiny. A no visitor's notice was then placed on the door of Emperor Eugen's hospital room. Yun and the others reunited with the nurses stationed 
with Dr. Salen soon afterward. Hmm. There is a shrap- there is shrapnel in his heart? That's right. He really should be resting right now, but they're insisting that we operate as soon as possible. We initially called to the capital, but due to the scale of the surgery, we had him transferred here. The operation will happen within two weeks time. Considering his current condition, we estimate the success rate to be just shy of 30%. Yet despite his pain, he still found the strength to speak to us. Pfft, who the hell is he trying to fool? Acting all tough and... <laughs> Gosh. That reminds me, what did the letter say? It was mostly about the Black Records and the Curse of Erebonia. We already heard bits and pieces about it before, but I think it's all starting to come together thanks to this. The Curse of Erebonia. The annexation of North Ambry is just another consequence of it. <sighs> but newsworthy as this all is, we can't just put out an article about it. See, the Emperor's stay here has become something of an open secret. We cover a story like that and we'll get slammed by the censors or worse, shut out on the street. I see. At least we're beginning to see the bigger picture here. Every one of these events is driving us closer and closer toward war. Hmm. Um, Nurse Cecile, do you have a moment? I wonder what this could be. Excuse me a second. <gasps> I thought you'd left already. The Governor General has, yes. However, I realized I had one last matter to see to here. Oh, I no. I will be perfectly frank. Will you allow me to speak with Class 7? Uh-oh. The man from earlier. Van Dyke. Hmm. I thought that voice sounded familiar. He must have realized we were here. You can let him in, Cecile. Really? Are you sure about this? Very much so. He's a good man. Very well. Right this way, sir. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, new Class 7. I do hope you'll forgive me for barging in like this. It's okay, Principal. <laughs> and if it isn't some of the old Class 7, my, how you've grown. It's been too long, Principal Van Dyke. M pleasure to meet your acquaintance. We've heard so much about you. Come now, there's no need to be so nervous. I've wanted to meet all of you for quite some time. Hmm. You all have fire in your eyes. That's good. You remind me of young Schwarzer when he was a student. It's truly a shame he could not be here. <laughs> We're gonna rescue him. Don't worry, Principal. Well, damn. Someone's well informed. You were with the Governor General earlier. You're the one in charge of the war with Calvert, so perhaps you know- Unfortunately, I have no idea where he is. Mm. My role pertains solely to events on the surface, as per the orders of Chancellor Gilead Osborne. <sighs> the war with Calvert is now completely inevitable, and behind that is the thousand-year-old curse of the Empire. But despite all of this, you're prepared to fulfill your duty? I am. Such is what it means to be a soldier. Even if the coming war consumes the entire continent, even if it consumes the entire world, a soldier puts everything on the line for his country. Generals Craig and Vander hold the same convictions. Uncle. That may be what drives a soldier, but we'll show you what class 7 is different. It's just like his majesty said, we'll find our own path. I may not know where it leads, but I'm sure it starts with finding Instructorine. 
All we can do is have faith in ourselves and move forward as class 7 as in student stores. <laughs> exactly. We're not the type to be easily dissuaded. Every step we take bears the hopes of his majesty and all of his, our friends behind it. I am certain those hopes will lead us to him. He's more than just the Ashen Chevalier. To us, he'll always be a member and instructor of Class 7. Honestly, it's just a total crapshoot whether or not this will actually get us anywhere. But if we do manage to get Schwarzer back, you can bet your ass we're not just leaving things to him afterwards. That load is all ours to bear. We're finding us a way through the shitstorm, and we're doing it together. Well, would you look at that? There's are the faces of true determination. Now, you know, General, no. Principal Van Dyke, this right here is the heart of Class 7. Three years ago, the Prince came to me with an idea. A seed from which Class 7 would grow. But for it to have grown so determined, resilient, and strong, it has exceeded all my expectations. That's good. Speaking to you today has reminded me of that, and I am truly grateful. <laughs> Members of Class 7, I implore you to find Schwarzer. We will. I am sure you can save him, and together, find this new path. We will. Right. After General Van Dyke left the hospital, Grace followed soon after, returning to the city. The group then prepared to set off and resume their tasks. Well, that went on far longer than expected, but I suppose it's no time wasted, so long as you found it worth the while. In any case, I have a lot of work I need to get back to. Right, we won't keep you any longer. Thanks again. And good luck with the operation. Not that you need to hear it from me. Ash. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I don't. A medical professional never gives up, no matter how distant the hopes. We'll do what we can. Now then, I wish you all the best. And she's off. With silent heels. Wow, now that's a doctor who's got it all. The other nurses and I will be assisting Dr. Salen in any way we can. So don't worry about the operation. We'll make sure he pulls through. Yeah, thanks. We leave him in your capable hands. Now then, shall we get back our to work ourselves? Our next order of business is visiting the wetlands. Agreed. The area is flush with blue peroma grass, making it our best candidate for the singularity at present. If there were any place around that scream singularity, that would probably be it. Be careful, guys. Stay behind to get. I'll stay behind to gather information, same as Lois and the others. Make sure Yuna and the others don't get into too much trouble for me, okay? You got it. New or old, we're all still part of Class Seven together. The wetlands of Lake Elm should be south of the hospital down to Ursula Road. Take care on your journey, okay? We will. Alright, we got a lot of character entries. Alright, let's head to the wetlands. I'm ready to go anytime. According to the map, we'll reach the wetlands if we go left from here. No, you should think of that instead of saying that out loud, okay? I mean, I can see the event point. Oh. Oh. It is all filled with pleroma grass. Whoa. Look at all this blue pleroma grass. It has an ethereal quality to it. Quite different from the black variety we've come across. 
I don't feel any kind of malevolence coming from it. The hell? You can pick up something like that. I heard something about colors representing different kinds of mana before. We should search the area. This stuff's not here by coincidence. There has to be some clue about the singularity. All right, let's get started. Oh, that is a, um, that is a knight. Hold on, everyone. Oh, that's a lot of people. Yep. We can go there. That's the Imperial Defense Force, the security division under the Governor General's office. They're keeping the area under pretty strict watch. Why are Governor General's forces sealing off this place? That bastard. Did he come straight here from the hospital? And just what the hell is that? Um. What? It looks like a Panzer Soldat, a new one apparently. I don't recall seeing a type like this in the Intelligent Division's database. Something seems way off about it, almost give me the chills. I remember hearing RF was in the process of developing a new model. Could that be what this is? I suppose we won't be going through here anytime soon. At this rate, we won't be able to investigate Singularity, let alone get to Michelin. Then what do we do? Come on, we won't find a way through just by staring at the problem. We can't go there. Alright, yep. Okay, let's go back. But I'm going to end this episode here with this, because 31 minutes, and I don't want to make the episodes too long. And I'll be leaving it here. Off screen, I'll probably try to upgrade my characters and um, get them better ornaments if I can. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please like, share, and comment. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. Also, the Discord well server link will be in the description. So, join up and let's play some games. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.